Ow. Uh, level up. You can now allocate your new skill points on the character screen. Three available skill points. Um... Interesting. I definitely want to get some uh, alarming in here, though. Hmm. Oh, sad. Okay, well. Okay, your turn. Um... Uh, the skill you need... Maybe... Actually, no. Um... Weaknesses. Moderate slash high AP cost to attack. Chance to hit reduction at short range. Oh! Uses ex uses expensive ammo. Oh. <laughs> oh, is that so? Uh, allows you to install a wide variety of modifications to your weapons. I think that's what I want. Or what is outdoors? If you want to find water and live uh, and live off the land and the wasteland waste, this is the skill for you. Uh, for you, the outdoors and the skill is primarily used to avoid random encounters while traveling on the world map. All right, this big guy. Okay, the skill helps you use your strength to its greatest advantage, perfect mix for knocking down walls and smashing stuff. Used on objects in the world that can be bashed, broken, pushed, or unstuck. I might just put my points into this. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Boom. Or do I want bladed weapons? It's already a lot. Uh, it's already a lot of points. Oh, I need. Oh, I would need four to go up another point. Ugh. All right. Well, we'll do that then. Brute force it is. Four for that. Go ahead and get up to this and commit. Okay. Awesome.
Let's see if I can get, I can get rid of that. I don't like it when, like when I select a place to uh, go. It. Ugh. Okay, gameplay, text, word, edit, scroll, speech, or tutorial, camera, uh, camera follow squad. Let's turn that off. So I can't have multiples. So I can't have multiple saves? Is that what that is? Interesting. Interesting. Okay, so what's my ammo right now? Oh! I have one sniper bullet left in my guy's gun. Got some shotgun shells, but uh... There's a good chance I may not actually decide to uh, go into this cave just yet. All right, you know what? Go. Boom. Doing it. Doing it live. Doing it live. The corpses of birds and mice in various stages of imitation. What just happened? Oh, we got an extra skill point. Oh. Is that to everyone? Yeah, everyone got an extra skill point. Toaster repair? Huh. Um, hmm. What's the point of what's the okay? Use toaster repair on any broken toaster you come across in your travels, you never know what you might find in s Oh. That's why we would want toaster repair. Interesting. Can I either go one more in alarm disarming? Okay, so it's definitely gonna be uh, a thing where I'm going to need to at some point start saving up stuff. Okay. 
Ranged chance to hit. I guess I could put another point in I uh, probably maybe lock picking I can't put in any more points in a s sniper focused sh hmm Maybe I do want to put more. Uh, no, actually. Success. What is this? Spray paint. Oh. Oh. Well, let's go ahead and head back to the uh, head back to base, so we can. Uh... I don't think there's anybody around, so. Okay, maybe I do actually like the, uh... Show Combat Grid. You know I think I'll like that. Yeah, let's turn back- let's turn that back on. pulls down that way. Uh, you see dangerous raiders approaching a position. Alright, attack. up. How many are there? There's one, two. Three. There's three. Okay. Cannot, you cannot save at this time. Oh, because we're in combat. Awesome. Okay, so that's the combat grid. Okay. They have seven. That's four AP. Oh! Oh. Oh, what a dick. 
Oh, lovely. Ow. That hurts. Oh, well, uh, that, that just turned out great. Oh. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Ow! That's not going, that's not going well. All right, and boom. Oh, I like that. That was good. Boom. Got it. Nice. Let's see, anti-venom. Uh, nope, that'll, that'll definitely go to you, you, you. That'll be it. Okay, back to this. This goes to our surgeon. All right. Also, is there a highlight object that a uh, key that lets us highlight? Okay, toggle um, toggle group mode. Oh, oh, space to just toggle group. Mode. Okay, uh, it's like mobs. So, uh, highlight all. Z is highlight all. Okay. Is there like a tactical? I don't think there's a tactical pause. Uh, no, there is not a tactical pause. Okay, that's fine, though. Okay. Okay! Back to here, load, resupply. I can. Mm, uh, yes, confirm, please. Trainees, I'm taking time. Great job reacquiring the repeaters, recruits. I hope you found a chunk of the synth to bring back for Mer Captain. Also, let me personally thank you for finding Ace's killer, whatever it was. Anything you can tell me about Ace? Ace and I went way back, back to the prison days. We fought Finster and the base Cochise robot army together. We rebuilt the Citadel from scratch. That that I sent him on the mission which got him killed. Things heavy on my heart, and Angie's never gonna forgive me. Robot Lake. Nicely done, recruits. I'll hand this off to our researcher, Captain Murcaptain. She'll be a pig in shit with tech like this to play with. Logbook pages. Thank you. Excellent work. 
Let me have a look. Hmm. Not much here, is there? Let me see. Fell in with a snake squeezing cellar. Uh -huh. Okay. Getting that feeling of being followed. Damn, tells a sad story, doesn't it? Guess what came out of the dark was that damn killer robot. Well, looks like your best lead is to find this snake squeezing salesman, whoever he is. Mentions Rail Nomad here, so have a look there, if you haven't already. Maybe this fella knows something more, like where the rest of the logbook is. Hmm. Uh, uh, you think this is more than just a robot the killer? The Rangers have fought robots before, but none like that. I don't know what that thing was or where it came from, and that makes me uneasy. I've got our researcher, Captain Murcaptain, working on new tech that might help us tracking this thing. And that leg you delivered will be a huge help. You should talk to her once you have access to the Citadel. By the time you get the repeaters up, she might have something you can use. Uh, prison. Our old stomping grounds, since right after the apocalypse. We moved out of there about 15 years ago when we took over this place. It wasn't a bad place, but the Citadel is more defensible. The Red Scorpions have moved into the prison since then. Nasty bunch from all accounts. Hmm. Uh, what's the deal with Erwin John Finster? Craziest jackalope we ever faced. Might have been human once. Might have been seen, too. But when we met him, he was a crazy android bent on wiping out the human race and replacing us all with mutants. Got his head in our museum, if you want to take a look. Oh, really? Might have to look at that. What, uh, what happened with uh, Beige Co oh, Chief Cochise? The place was nearly the death of us. Hell, it was nearly the death of the whole human race. Damned malevolent mainframe churning out an endless army of robots. If we hadn't stopped it, well, I hate to think. Uh, Ranger Citadel. Once you prove yourself, the Citadel will be your new home. Consider this mission the final test of your training. If you succeed, you are welcome within our walls. If you fail, then you aren't cut out to be a desert ranger, and we won't let you in. Angie. Another of the old gang back from the day. She's a tough cookie, Angie. But she's pretty broken up about Ace. They were close. Who is Ethel Merc Merca Mercapt Mercaptain? One of the brightest minds in the Citadel. She's really helped us get our weapons and armor up to scratch, and she's always coming up with new and better stuff. Worth a visit just to see what she's got cooking. And Red Scorpions. They call themselves the Red Scorpion Militia now. And lately they've been filling the airwaves with a lot of trash about how they're the real law and order around here. Just another raider gang, if you ask me. I don't give them the time of day. Make us proud, recruits. All right, trainees, fall in. Let me hear the Desert Ranger Rifleman's Creed. This is my rifle. There are many like it. This one is mine. My rifle? Oh, this is my life. I must master it. Without my... Me and my rifle is... Okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to read all that. It goes too fast. Oh, it's just like... Oh, it's right here. Duh. Ha! <laughs> Alright. Um, let's go ahead and get up here. Great, please. And let's go ahead and uh, sell all our junk. Okay, buy ammo. Uh, assault rifles, sniper rifles. Usable in sniper rifle ammo. Oh, jeez. Oh, so I actually can't buy anything still. Oh, well. 
Aha! I might need to... Oh boy. Ugh. can of white spray paint is a rare find. Who knows how it wound up inside a toaster. Oh, that's not... Oh, that's not junk? Oh, interesting. I thought... I, I'd figured that that would be junk. My. Oh my. Huh. That seems pretty good. But unfortunately I can't buy anything, so uh Okay. Oh, it's not okay. Nice to meet you too, Salveg. What's your story? Oh, it's not not so interesting. Uh, I grew up in the village near here, but I was also oh, but I was already a grandmother twice over when the Desert Rangers moved into the Citadel. I saw how much good the Rangers were doing, and I wasn't up to much with my children. Move with my children moved to the other villages to start their own families. It was a little unconventional for an old lady to go through basic training, but I pulled my weight and earned my earned my share. I mean, I'll, I might not be too useful in forward operations, but I've got all, I've got lots of experience keeping people well fed and well clothed, and I can run run a drill press with my with the best of them. Apparently, I can't talk very well. One second, I'm gonna check something over here. Okay, I'm starting to notice a slight lack of music here. Okay. Uh, well fed and well closed, and I can run drill press with the best of them. So General Vargas has me help Sergeant Melson run the supply. So you can outfit us? Well, with essentials as tough to find as they are, I can't just give them away for free. Believe, mm, believe me, I wish I could, but we keep our prices as low to cost as we can for our rangers. We can stop by for the basics whenever you're in the area, and once you get clearance to enter the Citadel, you'll get access to some of our more valuable goods. You'll have to talk to Sergeant Melson about that when you get inside. Okay, I do love this place nowadays. It used to be full of um, hooky birds back when I was younger. Fellows seemed to worship pre-war junk. Even if they didn't know what it was, and they wouldn't share none of it. Well, I shouldn't get too it too detrimental. Okay, General Vargas. He's a modern. He's a modern day Patton. He's got a mind of a, a mind for strategy and knows how to make the tough calls. But he's got a gentle side too. Uh, Melson. Oh, he's a great friend and a great quartermaster. We'd all be eating sand and wiping with cactus flowers without him. That wouldn't that wouldn't feel too good. <laughs> After more captain. She's the smartest person I've ever met. Bar none. Gotcha. Alright. That it? That that for everybody then? I didn't pick that up before. 
Angel Beth or oh, was that Angel Beth or Death? Angel Death. Angela Death. Huh. Interesting. There's definitely some interesting names in here. God damn it, Ace. A tough looking redhead with decades of sun, wind, and hard living etched into her angular face stands sobbing in the shadows. Her. Mm, oh, this is Angela. We saw her at Ace's retirement party. The sleeves of her uniform have been cut off, revealing multiple tattoos on her. Uh, Nui arms, all skulls. The, the tears running down her cheeks are splashing on a rusty old, and she holds in her scattered hands. They all hurt, but this one. Man. Ace wasn't even a ranger. Not the first. He worked as a driver and mechanic for Fair and Brigo up in Vegas. And when Base Cochise started sending its death machines into the desert, Brigo sent Ace South to recruit robot fighters. We met him in courts. He'd pissed somebody off out there and they locked him up. We sorted that out, and he started running with us, helping us fight Cochise. And never stopped. Vargas eventually gave him the uniform and the hat, but I don't think he ever formally signed on. He was just always there. And now he's. He's. God damn it, Ace. I knew this one was trouble. I knew it. General Vargas? <laughs> Better than he'd like. Back in the day, the general was the craziest of us all. But somehow, after he brought down Base Cochise, he became the sanest. Now he's running the whole show and doing a damn fine job. Well, I'm still walking patrols and answering radio calls. Shows you how much ambition I got, huh? Babies? Us? Sorry, but you are. As cute as little kittens. Y'all remind me of us. Snake, Razor, Thrasher, and me. Back when we were just starting out. Thinking we were gonna save the world for the future. Thinking none of us would ever die. I... Christ, sorry. Don't listen to me. Youth is good. Optimism is good. If we all started out worn out and jaded like me, nobody'd ever try to change the world. So you kids go ahead and give it a go. Maybe it'll work this time. So you have Ace's name tattooed in the in the heart on your arm. You, you noticed that, huh? Lace always said I wore my heart on my sleeve. Yeah, me and Ace, we were more than just old army buddies, if you know what I mean. That's why it hurts so bad. That's why I want to come with you. Oh, where's Quartz? Man, not sure I can recall. Haven't been out that way in ages. Don't even know if it's still on the map. Ask Thrasher, he'd know. Uh, you thought Ace's mission was trouble? He was working on the same thing Vargas has you working on. Trying to track down radio signals from beyond the edges of the map. All seemed a bit boring and scientific to me. But then Ace started saying he thought someone was following him. I asked him to let me come with him when I met him at Rail Nomads to give him the repeater units. But he told me to go back to base. He said he was just jumping at shadows because those radio broadcasts had spooked him. I should have gone with him. Why didn't you go with him? What base was Cochise? An old military facility from before the war. And the biggest fight the Rangers ever had. There was some crazy computer in there that kept spitting out robots and sending them off to kill people. We had one hell of a fight putting it down. Earned our stripes that day. Literally. That's when I became Captain Death. Oh, wow. Hopefully you guys can hear that. Looks a little bit quiet. Hold on. Go there. Let's go right there. 
Uh, so General Vargas used to be called Snake. Well, like I said, he was one wild ass son of a bitch back in the day. But I think the weight of his responsibilities has kind of squashed that out of him now. He hasn't been in a decent bar fight in shit a decade, maybe? Hell, what happened to Hellraiser? He's another one gone. Went out for a patrol a few weeks back and never came home. Don't know if he's dead or AWOL. We're gone off to join the Scorpions. All anybody knows is he hasn't called in, and we haven't heard from anybody who's seen him. I miss all Hellraiser like blazes. Didn't talk much. Didn't make friends easy. Wasn't big on social graces. But he was as loyal as they come. And when the shit started flying, he was the guy you wanted at your back. He didn't win that name by accident. Sharp as a razor. Scary as hell. And where's Thrasher? You better call him Gilbert now. Funny, back in the day, he just seemed like this big old growly bear. Strong as an ox and just about as articulate. But then he got all torn up during our fight with the robots from Base Cochise. And he couldn't go out on patrol no more. Any other commander would have handed him his walking papers. But Vargas doesn't dump old friends. So he started him working in the museum. And once you know it, turns out the old bear has a knack for cartography. He's been gradually mapping our little corner of the wasteland ever since. <laughs> Who'd have thunk it? Hmm. Uh, uh, tell me about rail nomads. Could be a nice little place if the Atchisons and Topekans would kiss and make up. I can't even remember what it's all about, but between them, they got enough old railroad tech that if they worked together, they could give this area a real transportation system. Instead, seems like all they want to do is blow each other's heads off. Idiots. Know any more about these repeater units? I don't really know the details. It's all a bunch of mumbo jumbo about transmitters and north south axis and signals bouncing off the clouds. Ask Woodson about it. He's our radio genius. And have you heard any of these strange broadcasts? Ace played me some of them before he died. Hard to make out a lot of it, but what I heard made my hair stand on end. Some guy talking about turning men into machines. Or machines into men or some shit. But the crazy thing was, then he starts talking about us. The Rangers. Saying we're the cause of all the trouble in the world. And we need to be wiped out so his glorious future can be born. I mean, who is this guy? Where is he? What the fuck does he have against us? Damn. Uh, computer was making the robots? Yeah. The base Cochise AI. I don't know what was wrong with it. Broken, I guess. It thought everybody was its enemy. Wanted to kill the whole planet. The Red Scorpions? You weren't briefed on those fucks during your training? Well, let me fill you in. You know when we left the prison and moved here to the Citadel? Well, the Scorpions were the jerks who moved into the prison when we moved out. Just a bunch of rangers back then, but they had been getting more organized. They call themselves the militia now, and they try to act like they're the desert rangers of eastern Arizona. Well, that's a load of horse shit. The protection racket ain't the same as protecting people. They shake down all their towns for money, and if the locals don't kick in, they smash them up. The rangers aren't like that. We get by on donations and good old-fashioned scavenging. Uh, and Woodson. Radio technician Wade Woodson? Sure do. He's the guy that makes sure you can hear Vargas when you're out on patrol. Keeps the machines running and the signal clear. He'll also talk your ear off about circuits and frequencies and I don't know what else if you let him. But be nice to him. He's your lifeline to the base. And Eastern Arizona. Basically everything between the prison and the radiation clouds to the east. There are a few small towns and farms out there, which the Scorpions claim is their territory. Rangers used to patrol that area before we moved here, and we knew it pretty well. But a lot can change in 15 years. Who knows? Maybe it's all as clean and nice and crime-free as the Scorpions say it is. But I've got my doubts. Uh, radiation clouds. The edges of the map, kiddies. Big hot areas we can't get into without getting cooked to a crisp. The clouds move around some with the wind and the weather, 
But there are permanent hot spots on every side of us. North, south, east, and west. Until we started hearing those weird broadcasts, I kind of thought those clouds went on forever. And that Arizona was the last place on Earth. But maybe there's more people out there. <laughs> maybe the whole rest of the world's just fine, and we're the only ones in hell. Wouldn't that be a joke? It would be. <laughs> Say, listen. Vargas asked you to look into Ace's death because he thought I was too upset to be professional about it. He didn't want me going off half-cocked and shooting up all of Arizona looking for his killer. But I gotta find this guy. Ace and me, well, we'd been fighting side by side for nigh on 20 years. I'm not letting him die unavenged. So, well, I know it's going against orders, but if you let me tag along and be in at the kill, well, I'll help you find your feet out there. Maybe give you a few pointers along the way. I may be old and slow, but I know the waist's like the back of my hand. What do you say? Okay, this I already know. Can I have more than four characters and and a party? Hold on. Plus one follower. No need to tell Vargas why I joined you. If anybody asks, I'm just helping you get oriented, all right? During your travels, you may come across people willing to join your squad. These companions and CNPCs can be controlled and customized just like your own ranger recruits you start the game with, but may have personalities and characteristics of their own. Okay. Oh, so you're... Also, 